here it is. The Apple Card has arrived. I just wanted to do a quick unboxing and activate it because that process is unique to the Apple Card. You don't have to call a number and you know, do an automated thing over the phone or go to the website. You just simply tap it to your phone, I believe. So I'm gonna try that out. So typical Apple package, you know, little tear tab on the cardboard. There it is. Little uh, Apple logo right there. Um, pretty nice minimalistic packaging as per usual. Um, on the back it just says Apple and their address just in the lower corner there. So let's open this up and there it is. Titanium card. It is white in color. Um, and uh, unique to the Apple card, it does not have any um, numbers on it. So, you know, besides my name there on the front uh, and the Apple logo, which is laser etched in there, um, the name is printed, the logo is laser etched. And then on the back, we've got Goldman Sachs Bank and the MasterCard logo um, also etched into there and then the magnetic stripe chip on the front but yeah besides that no numbers no expiration date no uh, security code so I believe the way it works is it generates a random number whenever you use a physical card um, I know that on your phone you can access a 16 digit number for making online purchases uh, with merchants that don't have Apple Pay but yeah it's very light um, if you've ever handled other metal credit cards from other banks. Um, this one is lighter, but also feels like stiffer and sturdier. Um, I suppose that's thanks to the titanium. So inside the packaging here, it does say uh, activate your card, wake iPhone, and hold here. A little place where it says place the phone there. So I'm going to wake it, hold here. There we go, it's popping up right there. It has my name, it says Apple Card, and it says Activate, so I'm just gonna hit the one button. Okay, use your card everywhere MasterCard is accepted. See transaction details and make payments in Wallet. Continue. Now Wallet wants to access my location when I'm not using the app, I guess so. And yeah, that's, that's it. It's activated and ready to go. Now, um, some features with the Apple Card um, that you get 2% uh, cashback rewards on all purchases that you make using the, the wallet, either on your watch or, or the phone, uh, with Apple Pay. Um, ironically, the like really sleek titanium card, you only get 1% back, so you're kind of disincentivized to actually, you know, whip this card out. Um, but still cool to have, right? Um, but basically, they want you to use Apple Pay for everything, and in the rare occasion that Apple Pay isn't accepted at a merchant, I say rare because more and more merchants are offering it, even like the little um, bodegas or whatever you want to call them, corner stores, are now accepting Apple Pay on their credit card machines. So um, fewer and fewer merchants don't accept Apple Pay, but if you're at one that does not, you've got your physical card magnetic stripe and a chip so think gas stations now um, I have other cards that offer 2% on all purchases with the physical card so for the situations where I don't get to use Apple Pay I'll probably still use those other cards just because the rewards are greater granted it's not cash back rewards but um, the points are redeemable for things like travel purchases and, and things that are um, that I do utilize, so it works. But the uh, the instant cash back for that Apple card is pretty cool. So after you make a purchase, you will get a notification with that 2% reward. So I made a purchase the other day, got a little notification on my watch saying, um, or maybe it wasn't my watch, maybe it was just my phone, but it was like, you have 50 cents in your cash. And what's nice about that, it's in your Apple cash, which you can use to pay friends through messages or, um, you know, make other purchases too. So it's immediately accessible. You don't have to wait until the end of the month to get your points and then figure out how you're going to use them. So that part's pretty cool. But the fact that this is only 1% uh, 
rewards on purchases that aren't made with Apple Pay, you know, not using the card, means that I probably will still use my other card for those transactions and don't know when I'm ever going to really use this. Except maybe at the Apple Store, but they accept Apple Pay, so I don't know. Apple Store, you do get 3% rewards, so that's cool. Um, so new iPhone, put that on the Apple Store card, or the Apple card, so that every time I make a payment on that, get 3% rewards. So that's a nice perk. Um, so there you have it. Unboxing, quick look at the, uh, the new Apple card, and a little overview of the features. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below, and I will see you in the next one. So real quick, um, I just was curious because I know that the card is not a contactless card for payments, yet you held the phone up to it. Um, but it was interesting that it was saying hold phone here. So I just had to see, and sure enough, there's a uh, the RFID um, tag in there and that's what allows it to do the activation. So just wanted to point that out, thought that was kind of interesting. And um, anyway, that's the real end of the video. All right, bye.